Eye eyes are part of the lemur family and are a nocturnal primate, only coming out at night to forage for their food. They eat beetles, insect eggs, seeds and fruit, making them pollinators for their environment. They sleep high up in trees in nests during the day, which are made from leaves and branches, which are found in the rainforest in eastern Madagascar, which is their home. They have a couple of outstanding features, being their teeth, which grow continually, and a long, thin middle finger. They use their finger for tapping on wood to locate the insects and grubs inside it, and then they grind their teeth down by gnawing on the wood, making a hole to get to their prey, rather like a woodpecker. The middle finger is then inserted into the hole to scoop out the food. This is known as percussive foraging, a process also practiced by possums in Australia. The adults are about two feet long, with tails that are longer than their bodies, which are covered in thick fur of different colours. Their hearing is very sharp, as they actually listen to any noises inside the tree after their middle finger tapping to help locate their food. They also have an extra little finger, which helps them to grip proving that they have certainly adapted to their environment. There are about 50 eye-eyes in zoos and captivity around the world, but their exact numbers in the wild are not known. Their population has been on the decline for quite some time, and sadly they are an endangered species. Their natural habitat has been reduced by deforestation, and they've been hunted down by poachers as they are seen by locals as a pest and a threat to crops, despite any evidence ever being found. Some even consider them as food. Others believe them to be omens of bad luck, since legend has it that if they're seen to point their long finger at you, then death will shortly follow. Because of these stories, they're often killed on sight before any bad luck can take hold. Seeing their big eyes and their long middle finger, I'm reminded of a being from another world that was also persecuted by having experiments done on him. He meant no harm to anyone and just wanted to go home. His long finger was used in communication, just like the eye eyes. I wonder if they were the inspiration for the movie of Steven Spielberg, E.T. the Extraterrestrial? Humanity in general needs to accept and embrace different species not persecute, experiment and punish them. All creatures, great and small, the Lord God made them all. The Ai, being a lemur, comes under the protection of the Lima Conservation Network. You can read all about them, get to know them better, and even donate to help if you choose on the website. There is also a park in Nosy Bee in Madagascar called Lemuria Land, where you can see many species, including eye eyes, in a protected environment. The links to both websites are below. So just remember, if someone points their middle finger at you, smile and think, eye eye.